Hey everyone, it's been a bit of a week. You guys can see this is someone that is you might be familiar with if you've been around long enough, you've been subscribed long enough, and this guy here too. Now, I'll tell you a story with these two monsters. Okay, this is Harley, and that's Hercules. And I had a kind of crazy week. I had to fly back to California to go get these guys and the charity case back here. I'll talk to you about that in a second. But Harley and Hercules are my Great Pyrenees Anatolian Shepherd mixes. And they're a little bit over a year old. Now they're about a year and a half. Huh, good boy. So, uh, last, what was it? Thursday, last Thursday, I flew back to California and was there to pick these guys up at my old house for about an hour just to get them just to get them situated and everything and then me and my dad drove straight we left at like 9 40 in the evening we drove straight through we made it all the way back here in about 24 hours which was a little bit of a hard drive why because we had some monsters with us so this is the mighty hercules and this is harley oh, easy buds having a couple issues with them because this little one right here who is it's pepper here come here pepper pepper it's kind of the charity case around here she's she's a good dog she's just a lot a lot a lot and she happens to be in heat right now which is making these two boys want to fight and they got into it pretty good the other day and uh, I kind of took the brunt of it because <laughs> I got in between them, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. I should have just gotten the hose. But she's getting fixed and as soon as possible. Yeah, good boy. So I was gone, and while I was gone, Nicole stepped up and took care of all the animals here, all the chickens, the dogs, and the cows. What are you doing, Nicole? Scooping chicken food. How was it when I was gone? Super easy. These are the best animals. Honestly. Really? Yeah. They're really great. I had my little chicken song that I sang to them. What was it? I'm not doing that. So, I want to hear it. No. Was it bark, 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 bark? <laughs> What was it? Chicky chickies. Yeah? Chicky chickies. They eat okay for you? Behave? I overfed them. You're cute. <laughs> they were hungry. What did, uh, did any of them, did any of them jump out and try and get out when you're feeding them? You're so mean. <laughs> What? One flew at me. And what'd you do? I got scared. And what'd you do? Threw the chicken food all over them accidentally and felt really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah? But how did the cows do? How did the dogs do? Amazing. They're how was it being Farmer dog. Nicole for a day? Huh. Huh. How was it being Farmer Nicole for a day? Simple life. Simple life 2.0. Were you Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie? Which one were you? <laughs> Both combined, but much worse. She's trying to eat the food. Callie, she's okay. She can, that's not gonna hurt her. Good no big girl. deal. Good girl. You're supposed to eat what eats that, not eat that. You're a little bit ahead of the schedule. Look at her. Callie, Callie, oh no. My goodness. All done. So, how was it being a cowgirl for a day? Amazing. All the girls behave? Oh, yeah. They're the best doggies. Would you wanna do it again? Must I? <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've done it for a day, the job is yours for six weeks. <laughs> Yay. How many animals will survive? All right, Nicole. The most important question about me being gone. Did you miss me? Always. <laughs> you sure? Yes. It's a lie. She goes, why did you come back? <laughs> she goes, I got everything here. I have all the animals. I don't like people. Kelly and I were very happy together. Oh yeah? How was Jenny? Amazing. She was sad. Anything interesting happened when I was gone? No, Jenny gives sad face. And what about the thunderstorms you were telling me about? Thunder like shook the house. It was crazy. The loudest one since we've been here? Yeah, for sure. And you missed it. Did it freak you out at all? 
Nah. No? It was crazy though. Fun? Oh my goodness. That's one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jenny. Jenny doesn't like thunderstorms. No, she she's hates scared. them. She, gets she hates them. But she was, she what, glued to you the whole time? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> well, thank you very much for holding down the farm for me. Taking care of all the animals. Thanks for Really, really appreciate it. Yeah, rescued them from California. But thank you. Thank you very much. You gonna do it again soon? Always. She charges too much though. <laughs> she charges way too much. She charges like a thousand dollars a minute. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Fly back, pick up these, pick these boys up. We drove all the way back here and then my dad was out here for like a week. Cool. And we got a lot of projects done and he helped me out a lot, which was really nice, huh? Okay, okay. You guys are not gonna let me film anything, are you? Yeah, he's just a good boy. Who's a good boy, huh? You good boy? Yeah, you are. Who's a good boy? Hey, Harley. And there's Jenny. And there's Pepper. Huh. Hey. How's a good boy? He's a good dog. Big, strong as can be, but good. Yeah. I didn't forget you in California. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't forget you there. No, I didn't. Good boy. I was going to come back for you, but because of this whole virus thing, it made it much, much more difficult. The plan was to have them out here months ago, but my dad took care of them, kept them all nice and strong. Huh. Good boy. And now, now they're out here. So, one of the first things we did <clears throat> was we built this area over here. Well, we didn't, we didn't build this, we just modified it, throw down some pine shavings. We did build this because Pepper has some very bad separation anxiety. So, I want to build this for her because the first couple nights that we she was here, I got like practically zero sleep. We wanted to bring her over here, but uh, that didn't work out. Why? Because mistake here. Big mistake from this guy. What I did, see that's our well right there. And that's where, that's our well and our well pumps in there. Well, there's a hydrant that way and there's around this building is where I tap into the water mostly. Well, didn't know that down there where I'm trying to drive a T-post was a water pipe. And when I'm trying to drive the T-post in, Guess who didn't stop when uh, it didn't, wouldn't want to go? I said, let's just hit it harder. So I kept hitting it harder, kept hitting it harder, and then we hear this noise like, Psss. Uh, we were like, what is that? Pulled the T-post up and water starts bumbling. Great. So that put a little bit of a damper on this project here. And uh, my dad actually was able, able to fix the leak, which was really nice, didn't have to call a plumber, didn't have to do it. So that helped. But, first night Pepper was over here, out here is the pasture, okay? And uh, I'm pretty sure something came by to check her out or look at her. Whoa, that is a really big spider web. You, you're going to get going. I don't know if you can see that. Something, I think something came over here that spooked her and, you know, she just, she just wouldn't stop. She was just crying and crying and crying and we could hear her. So, we brought her back to the garage because she was shaking and something probably scared her. And then, next night, we said, okay, we're gonna put her two protectors over here with her, which is Harley and Hercules, because they are huge and nothing's gonna mess with them. All right, so back to my story about the dogs. So, we put the boys in with Pepper to see if, you know, to make sure that nothing came by, nothing hurt her, because, you know, Mongo here can take down anything, including him, with him. But I gotta remember, they're still babies and they're a year and a half old. They're still from the LA area. You know, they they spent most of their time in the LA area to where there's only a possum or two, maybe a cat. But that's about it. They weren't ready for the wildlife out here. And uh, the first night we had them in there, they were barking like crazy. I mean, just going at it. I come out here one time, way across the road, you hear the coyotes going, we see a skunk go by. There's all kinds of, there's something else, I forgot what it was. But there's something, there's just a lot out here and it kind of overstimulated them and they just they just weren't ready for it. Especially if you just thrown in there. 
too fast, so that's my fault. Huh, Harley? Nothing, nothing happened. They were just, nothing happened. They were just too up and too barky and they were just, they, they were stressed. So we moved them back into the garage along with Pepper and she calmed down and slowly but surely we'll probably get them over there. But, and surely, uh, slowly but surely we'll get them over there to where they can um, be in there with her. And then eventually maybe if we get sheep or something in the future, they'll be out with the sheep if we can, if we can train them to that. But we'll see, we'll see. Keeping, uh, keeping the options open. The main thing is to keep them safe which they can pretty much do for themselves besides a car. See, it's a good boy, it's a good boy. And the rascal here. Yeah, she's a, she's a real handful, and that's for sure. But we'll see if we can get her whipped into shape and falling in line with the other dogs. So far, she's been here a week and she's doing better. She's doing a lot better than the first couple nights, which were, which were pretty bad. And then, you know, she, she needs to start listening better and everything, but she's a good dog. She's okay. Huh, Pepper? There. Hey, Pepper, come here, come here. You okay, Pep? You okay, Pepper? Good boys. Come on, come on. Okay, easy, boys. Easy, boys. Okay, I can't pick up one without the other one coming over, huh? All right, watch this. You want to see how, how vicious he is? I can bite him. I can bite him and he's not going to do nothing. <laughs> he's a good boy. I can bite all my dogs. Is that weird? No? Trains them. Huh, watch. Come on. Good boys. Okay. Get down. Alright. Well, it looks like all the chickens are fine, like Nicole said. Good job. <laughs> now, really? That's what happens when you eat grass. Okay? It's stuck in your throat. They're all looking good. They're all really growing, doing good, doing getting big. We are still 103 for 104, which by my count is pretty good. Even though we look, this is our, this is the, she thinks the chickens are her friends. She just wants to get in there and play with them. She comes out here every morning, wants to play with the chickens. Goes round and round and round, but she see she can't get in. Nothing can get in there. They kind of follow her. Huh? You good girl? But yeah, look at this. You got some big ones in here. Let's see, actually, look at look at that guy right there. Look at that one. He's getting huge. They're not so cute anymore. You still think they're cute? I think they're so cute. Are they still your velociraptors? They are getting into T-Rexes now. Look at them. Look how big they are. Callie, easy on chickens. Callie, chicken's okay. Crazy dog. But yeah, they got a few more weeks left to go. Callie, they're gonna be between four and five pounds probably when we process them, and uh, gonna be pretty tasty for us. So, no food shortage here, by any means. Look at this guy. Look at these chickens here. One always likes to be king of the mountain. I don't know. I don't know why I thought these chickens were lazy, like to sit on the ground, didn't want to move around. They're getting pretty big. Look at this guy. I think he's the biggest one. I think he's the biggest one by far. But right now, that guy, king of the mountain. But very, 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 very good job. Thank you very, very, very much for keeping them all alive. The cows over there did perfectly. See, we're mowing behind them because they just can't keep up with it. But chicken's good, doggy's good, cow's good. Nicole happy. That's the main thing. So update on the cows. Nicole did a great job taking care of all three of them. But we do have an update. I've been talking about getting more cows for a while now. I've been looking and looking and looking and I wasn't gonna go to the sale barn because go back, you can see the video where I got hammered by a bunch of people because I said I wasn't gonna go to the sale barn, which I'm not, because don't agree with it. But we did put a deposit down for at least two more cows. You see, across the way, the guy that rents the land there, he really, really nice guy, him and his wife, 
raised some of the best cows that I've seen. And, and he's got some in a different part of town that I'm gonna get from there rather than across the way because he was concerned with me taking the, the heifer calves and the moms start, you know, bellowing for them, looking for them, and then we have an issue with them trying to get to each other and messing up the fences, which I thought might have been an issue, but I didn't know. I was gonna ask him about it, but he, he mentioned it beforehand. So we got two new, we put a deposit for two very, very, very good looking cows. So they're the, the best ones that I've seen, and they're not longhorns. They're uh, a, a, sort of a cross, more, they look Charlet, but, uh, those will be here in August-ish. So we're growing, we're gonna have five, at least five come August. But right now, as you can see, these girls are great. They're growing fast. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, but they're a lot bigger than when we got them. But we're starting to mow behind them because they just can't keep up with this grass. And this is like two and a half acres of the 30 acres that we have. And it's just, you know, there's just too much. With the rain that we've been getting, they can't keep up with it. We're gonna, we're mowing behind them so the new grasses can come up. And you can see, look, you can see, we mowed over there about a week and a half ago. Look how green that is. We mowed over here two days ago. And you can see all the, what would be called hay or grass clippings is on the ground. And then we're probably gonna let them stay here for another day or two and then move them out and then mow this here. Now, back over there where the chickens are is almost ready to be grazed again because what I've learned from all my research, see if I can grab a piece of grass here, here, Let's see. When a blade of grass like that, I don't know, can, can you guys see that? When a blade of grass has a tip on it, it's ready to be grazed. But if it looks like that, like that, it's not. And over there, it looks almost like this, but wanna wait for it to grow up a little bit more. And then bring the cows over there. We've had a ton of rain. You know, we've only been here almost three months now and uh, don't know really what the weather pattern's like, but it just seems like a lot of rain. So as you can see, this is all up. We have some, we have plans for the other field over there. That's about 18 acres and the back part is another 10 to 12 somewhere in there but we have plans for the 18 acres this week which you'll see in a future video but for now cows are here eating down all this really really nice grass i was told that this is called bahia grass out here where it has a seed head on it and the cows go nuts over it but out here yeah we had to mow it unfortunately because the cows weren't weren't keeping up with it because it just grows too fast it just grows way too fast but they have plenty to eat this is going to grow back and then we'll bring them back over there real soon to, to so they can get the real fresh brand new grass but it was pretty cool to have my dad out here see the cows that's betty which is named after his mom and he actually and he would grab some of the pecan branches bring them over here to the cows and they eat right from him. It's pretty cool. What my dad also did was help us organize the shop because this was because this was insane you know moving and getting everything here you know you just kind of throw stuff in boxes and say we'll figure it out later and uh yeah it would take it would have taken me months he spent like a day and a half in here putting all the tools together i think i got enough wrenches now to go on for days but looks better looks a lot better looks way more organized helps me out a ton and uh, now we can build stuff and know where everything is and know what we have so thank you very much dad for doing this driving the dogs out helping me with a few projects he helped me take care of the chickens giving me the old family car betsy here to bring the boys out in 
This Suburban right here, it's a 1999, but it ran like a champ. Didn't have any problems, we drove straight through, and uh, we made it. Can I film? Can I film? Yeah, thank you. Good boy. Well, just a little quick update video here. We had a very, very, very busy week. Lots of stuff going on. Long, hard drive. Flying back to LA, doing that whole thing. Hey, who's your good boy? Who's a good boy? Huh, good boy. But yeah, everything's good here. Everything's all good. We are moving forward. I'm glad I got my boys, huh? You good boy. Gosh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I'll put a link to where you can see how little these guys were when I got them. They got them back when? I think it was uh, March, March of last year. And now they weigh, this guy probably weighs 135 pounds. His brother over there weighs an easy 150. And uh, when they fight, you know, they fight like brothers and that's uh, not good. It's because we gotta get pepper fixed and that's gonna happen here as absolutely soon as possible. But I'm, like I said, I'm the one that took the brunt of it. Look, I don't know if you can see, look, I got a big old bruise there. Had a jump in between them. But they're good boys. They're real good boys. Nothing is gonna mess with them. They, a coyote, <laughs> I dare them. I dare them. That'll be bad, bad, bad decision for the coyote. Huh. They look like fluff balls now, but you know, when they're fighting like freaking Simba and Scar, Mm -mm. You don't mess with them. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the notification bell. Drop a comment if you like. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm because <laughs> who doesn't like the YouTube algorithm? And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, all right? Thanks. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. You good boy. You good boy. Mm. See, so look, he's got some battle scars here. Hey, Pepper. Hey, Peps. Pepper. Yeah. You're you're a project, okay? Hmm. What's up, buddy? Hey, Cal. You are a project, but we'll get you into shape. Okay, you're gonna be a good girl. You're a good dog. Yeah. Filming around these guys is going to be interesting.